Although we'll be painting banners and theme songs all night and all day to prepare for it. Then, when tens of thousands are gathered in the park, we're going to march on the town hall. Laszlo, the people have spoken. They have said no, not in my sense. So folks, if you're listening and want to make a difference, get yourself down to the park and prepare to bring democracy back to the people. So, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people standing up and being counted. It's about the future. It's about telling those morons no thanks. Not in my town. Not while I have a breath in my body and hope in my soul. I will not, I cannot let this pass. Let what pass? It's about grabbing the town by the ball and saying, listen, son. My sister speaks highly of you, though I'm yet to be convinced that a guy Jin can offer anything but disappointment. Perhaps you could help deal with the situation that has me at a disadvantage. Of course, failure has its own disgrace. A Yakuza Kanbu is in custody awaiting transfer for trial. He is a valued member of the family. Break him out of custody and get him to the dojo at Bedford Point. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look, you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. You're helping a fella. What kind of piece of art? It's a rally. You don't know what it's for, do you? It's for hope. Please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power.
ഇത് അന്വേഷിക്കുന്ന പണി അറിവാണ് It is impossible to overestimate the importance of etiquette in this line of work. To my eternal shame, a man once did me a favor, and I have never had the opportunity to repay his kindness. The man's weakness is mother cards, and he has requested that we acquire him certain models for his collection. Needless to say, we must give him the cards as a gift to repay the debt that I owe him. You must obtain the cards on this list and deliver them to a garage behind the car park in Newport. My honor demands it. find Eris running shoes in over 140 countries around the world in the No offense but you're no, kind of a scrawny wrong. hasty dude and it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents basement Okay if if not a basement I prefer a center for spiritual life in chapter 17 of my book, which I know you've read, I address the dangers of cynicism. That low, closed mind is like a closed fist. Karate means open hand. But it might as well mean open mind. If you like wheat grass, I think you'll really like it. Well, I'm not a masticating cow, so I really don't enjoy chewing damn food and prancing around in leggings, shouting, Okay, that though, I'm warning you this time. Do not make me angry. It's bad for my karma, and it will definitely be bad for your karma. I studied the martial arts so I could stand up to bullies just like you, and I encourage everyone listening out there on Chatterbox to buy my book and learn how organic food... Ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. Agent Fear at 24. Glad though, his soul is eternal. But let me answer the question. When I'm in trouble or tempted by those all you can eat breakfast buffets with huge pieces of juicy bacon. Can we get some bacon in here? Glad though, I go back to bacon. I start the day with a free beverage, and meditation, and six hours of yoga. Next, I will open up the yacht now and then and drink two pints of hand-pressed potato juice. And who wants a steak after that? Okay, next caller, you are on Chatterbox with Reed Tucker. Yo, Reed, Kung Fu movies are dope. How can I learn to beat up ten guys? Yeah, I'm not 
What's it being a feudal sir? Forget about him. I thought like you before my master it took me under his wing and taught me the words of soil and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremes of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks, and now I shall make it so. Dragon stance. Hey, yeah! Oh! Oh, oh Lando! Lando! I think I hurt my hand in my. I think he's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. The fool turns his back while the wise man faces it down. The Colombian cartel have ignored repeated requests to leave our interests in liberty well alone. Now they are negotiating terms with the Jamaicans in order to humiliate us further. They are finalizing a deal across town. Take one of my men, steal a yardy car, and go pay your respects to the Colombians. Our honor demands that you leave no one alive! Well, little man, I, I was listening to that English when you were talking to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how pussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers business. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee, Sparky, man. And, and another thing, what's up with them calling soccer football? Man, you, you ever watch soccer? Man, that's a boring game, man. I'll tell you what soccer is. Soccer. Stop being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like, like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men sports like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not running hopscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'll take you. I'll take anybody down. I'm the hopscotch master. I got fly skill hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of see your point, but you know, you'd be a little cranky too if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's time for some commerce here. Let's go to commercials. We'll be back after this. Has your marriage gone stale? <laughs> In a little adventure of monogamy? Hello, I am Fernando Martinez, founder of Fernando's New Week.
See, the passion she's back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. Gee Willikers, it's a puppy! Everybody loves a puppy. And now you can ship one anywhere just by logging on to PetsOvernight.com. PetsOvernight.com, delivering little bundles of love in a box directly to your door. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phone and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. But, uh, Bravo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners. The you know, people are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped the floor to get up an exercise bar because I hadn't had breakfast or lunch. So I go up to pay, and the lady's like, $1.25, please. So I get out my checkbook, and the guy behind me is like, Oh, come on, lady, you don't have two dollars? And I said, as a matter of fact, I don't. I spent my last two dollars last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing... To be truly strong, it is important that you never feel weakness. The businesses fortunate enough to have our protection settle their accounts today. Go and collect the money immediately so we can enter it into the casino accounts. Laszlo, that caller made a really valid point. These kids today have no respect for authority. And there is one thing that will put them into shame. Let me guess, the military. That's right. The military teaches you respect, obedience, and gives you a good pitch. These kids that thought they were going to be millionaires, look where they Pair of it, boys, and some girls. More people would join the military. This would be a better country. Okay, let's get a board. Let's get a board. Let's get a board. Let's have you read a history book lately, son? The Australian-American War was the biggest war since the big one. I tell you, I didn't do two tours and take boomerang shrapnel in my head so I can come back here and have a bunch of hippies deny history. Those Aussies are ruthless. They even wired kangaroos with explosives. can't pay you, and I wouldn't pay you if I could. Some young gang just dragged up the place. They took everything. You guys are useless. What kind of Yakuza are you anyway? Do I make myself clear? Uh, yes. Why are you calling in today? Because I need some advice. I ain't doing any of that shrink shit. Uh, if you swear again, we're gonna have to cut you off. This is a family show. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm just a little unhappy. I've been agitated. Real angry. It's my mom. She don't think I'm a real man. Can you imagine that? I mean, I do a man's job and hope it. She treats me like a little boy. All I get is your pa, this and your pa, that, and you ain't a real man, Tony, and it's driving me freaking nuts. 
Well, Tony... Tony, how'd you know my name was Tony? You're tracing this call? Because if you are, you're gonna get real intimately acquainted with what your brains look like. My name ain't Tony, okay? Uh, okay. But my mom, she keeps going, Tony, Tony, be a real man, stand up for yourself, don't take no shit. But all I do is to be a good son, and I want her to show that she cares for me, show that she loves me, and you know, Say I was a good kid, but it seems like nothing's ever good enough for her. You know what I mean? What do I do? Well, Toad, I mean, sir, you know, in life we have a lot of obligations, and we just kind of have to face up to them. And right now, I'm obligated to play some commercial announcements. We'll be back right after this. We've got a new friend for everyone. He's got fur and a tail. He gets in lots of trouble, but he's a bouncy little fellow, because he's got springs for legs. Pogo the Monkey, the best new video game for the whole family. I love you, Pogo. You bound. Help Pogo escape the in your eye. Here you go, Pogo. Have a diamond. You'll guide Pogo through tons of fun adventures, including saving Timmy, who fell down the well. Help! <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. For the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie-in sports jacket? For the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's good eat. No, I really can't say I have. Well, you ought to try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. <laughs> pretty good. Uh... Um, actually, I can't say that I do. Um, but, but if I did eat too much squirrel and put on a few extra pounds, I'd use the... Fitting you to choose this moment to sow your worthless faith. It would appear your attempts to dissuade the Jamaicans from becoming bedfellows with the cartel were wholly inadequate. Yardy pushes line Liberty Street selling packets of spank like they were selling hot dogs. Those cartel pigs are laughing at us. At me, I will give you one last chance to prove my sister's faith in you to be well founded. Run these scumbags into the ground and wash your shame in rivers of our enemy's blood! I have a cross Arctic tundra. It just makes me feel good. The new my boxy monstrosity. Mine is bigger. Oh, what? That's a good commercial. I, I love commercials, don't you? This is Chatterbox. We are uh, taking your calls right now. Hello, caller. You are on the air. Hi, Lazlo. Is that your real name? Huh? Of course, it's my real name. Are you Hungarian? <laughs> uh, no, I'm from upstate. Are you sure that's not a fake radio name like Andy or Bobo? I thought. Oh! 
Chatterbox. I want to talk about that bag stuff. People say it's bad. It's not bad to you at all. Why aren't you talking? Wait, you come straight? Am I on the air? Hello? It's me, Pansy. What's your question? Bag? 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 What about it? I mean, that's not really a question. Questions usually start with words like how and why. And they end with your voice going up like this. So mock me. I know where you work. You're just a color rat. How's that? All right, it's evil, dude. And two things, they use it to control us. Take him out! Why do you think I'm going to tell you the question today? I've read book. And what book have you been reading that tells you that Toothpaste is evil? Tetris, The Devil, and The Great Cavity Cover-Up by J. Bill Sigelbox. You can see what I've seen, and you've heard what I've heard, you never brush your teeth again. Uh, I suppose you're one of those people that says that diet soda makes you go crazy. Yeah, right? sure. I told you before, man. Don't mock me. My taxes pay your salary, you pansy. Sir, uh, this is a commercial radio station owned by Love Media. Advertising revenue pays my salary. And on that note, it's been two full minutes since a commercial. But I'd like to say, if anyone else is stressed, why not recommend Box Ringside? Not too pharmaceutical. We'll be back after these important messages. Hello? I used to be concerned and nervous about the future. Sometimes I'd get scared before an important event such as childbirth or a family funeral. Hey, sometimes you need a little help navigating life's trouble spots. That's when I discovered Equinox. After the divorce and losing little Tommy, life was getting me down. I couldn't focus on anything. After trying Equinox, I've been employee of the month three times in a row. I used to fall unconscious for hours at a time. Now with Equinox, I never need to sleep. Equinox is new. Ask your doctor about Equinox today. Equinox may cause nausea, loss of sleep, blurred vision, which can cause Equinox, softening life's harsh realities. Tonight, the TV event that will make history, the Reese City Survivor. This takes reality TV to a whole new level. We'll take 20 recently paroled guys, equip them with grenade launchers and flamethrowers, and let them... Liberty City Survivor. I watch it every day in the hospital. The game. 